Reason 40. Yodhe Vavhe, known also as the Tetractus or Tetragrammaton, is the name Judaism and Christianity revere as their father. Tetra means four. Reason 41. This chart, known as the Shem Hem Foresh, survives from antiquity, although not very legible. You can see the name Dios on the right side of the wheel. In many Latin countries, they refer to God as Dios, however he is but one of many names constructed in ancient Kabbalah. Many of these names are reported to be ineffable meaning that one should never utter them verbally, but should only contemplate them in their mind. Uttering them off the mouth is said to be a sin because the flesh is impure. Such tales kept people separated from the true origin of these beings since when uttered they are enlisted to appear at one point. However, when they arrive, one must gird themselves to deal with such strange overwhelming forces. This particular Kabbalah, which we will call the written Kabbalah of Cain, is known through circles as lesser keys. This work was eventually identified as a text of dark magic responsible for uniting man with horrible things from lower dimensions. This did not stop its reproduction. Just as books like the Necronomicon, the Book of Shadows, and the sixth and seventh books of Moses are easily available, and many have become possessed reading such as Sefer Raziel, Sefer Yetzirah, and Sefer Hashmoth, which are still in mainstream production as people are subtly coerced to lend an open ear to the dangerous degenerating art of Goetia, the evoking of departed souls and lesser jinn. Reason 42. Various Kabbalahs were formed as many descended the inverted tree of life, which can be seen here, led to heavy serpent and beast worship. It is unmistakably obvious that this has gone beyond some mere hobby for wise men. This has become an art that has corrupted minds and made men into pawns of spooks. Let us keep this in mind. If you are a powerful high vibration being and someone from Earth is summoning you, it's obvious you have no time to fool with Earthlings to do their selfish bidding, which generally involves controlling people and making money. Being very different, the lower forms have something to gain by making packs and acquaintances with humans because they are on lower dimensions, some of whom have forfeited their chance of ascending. What a loss, they have lava to drink. To sum up Kabbalah for the reader, I will give this explanation. The original oral Kabbalah consists of only one word that masters every spirit energy on this dimension. The entire body was put into formation to pronounce this word. The written Kabbalahs have been proven to a degree to teach the Magus how to control droves of elementals that can be bent to the will of the Magus. However, one should keep in mind that the use of these beings to gain advantage in everyday life rather than doing it naturally always spells trouble. It has been documented several times that these beings are very different from humans. Being lower life forms, they only have one ability, thus their name, elemental, meaning simple or base, a controller of one element. They are referred to as sylphs, undines, gnomes, and salamanders, which correspond to water, air, earth, and fire. It is known that they often play tricks on the magus hiding things, breaking things, which becomes a can of worms that the practitioner wishes they had never opened. Those are normal experiences. Deeper forms of this practice have led to haunting, unknown strangulations, and death. As the underworld will continue to entreat the Magus, driving him and her mad, especially in Goetia, where the departed souls drain the life force from anything alive in the vicinity when evoked, especially the Magus. Reason 43. A classic depiction of a magician who has evoked too many elementals. The art of magic itself is very real. Dark magic is dangerous and leads to encounters that can stunt the seeker's growth. 
Magicians have been known to also create two-part beings known as golems to do their bidding. There is now concern in certain esoteric circles in regards to golem who are said to be revolting because they are evolving and want to be free. Stories such as Solomon controlling jinn has fascinated many into believing that it is man's right to control the jinn. The attitude of seeking to master something you do not understand will always lead to trouble. There is generally no trial or error or learning curve in magic. One mistake can lead to a lifetime of problems. That one word mentioned above and its correct pronunciation was lost because of abuse and was before then only known by the high priest who learned it from the high priest before him. The name was said to be pronounced only once a year during ceremony. The name itself, when pronounced, responded instantly with no delay, thus the name was alive and not dead, like the many slow responding idols of the time. Although I believe the true name was removed long before then, the holy name possessed by the Hebrews was recorded as lost during the time the Romans sacked the Temple of Jerusalem. It is said in legend that the high priest was caught up by a fiery chariot into the sky just so the name could not fall into the hands of the profane. The Arabs protected their secret name so tightly that few knew the Abjad, Arab Kabbalah, even existed. The Shriners, Aleppo, and various secret societies for spiritual adepts studied under the Arabs. Reason 44. Westerners went to Arabia to learn the esoteric wisdom of the Arabs. When they returned to America, they used what they learned to gain control of the whole country. As can be seen in this rare book, they own all the things of importance, like the railroads. Even Forbes' grandfather is in this book. The written Kabbalah of Cain was purported to be the path of recovering the true name of the lesser god after you descended the tree of life like a serpent and met the pantheon of hosts of whose names and positions could be deciphered by working through combinations and equations. It is safe to say that many became lost and possessed as they attempted to make brutes as allies. It's claimed that one could arrive at the original name through the contemplation of 72 letters and numbers has remained unverifiable. In holy languages, the letters also double for numbers. In the end, many became insane moving the letters and numbers around and bringing forth energies untold. The art itself gave birth to what we know now as sorcery, the control key being the tetragrammaton, a four-sided cubic diamond also known as the tetractus, made up of letters and numbers with 18 functions or lucifers, uh, I mean ciphers. Kabbalah is a life study, so Explaining more of Kabbalah here would be only confusing to the reader, but not for me, and I will tell you just as you see the word tetra, meaning four, grams, and tons, these units of spirit energies can overwhelm the mind, and if the person is not strong, their senses leave them forever, and the body becomes the host of four counterparts. They have named this state of insanity the Jerusalem Syndrome. Reason 45. This is the symbol of the Magus. Once he has joined with the four animal traits, he will no longer be the ally of normal men. He feels elated over his fellows. The deepest and darkest part of spiritual knowledge lied within the art of Goetia and necromancy. Apparently, this ancient knowledge from Samaria even spread to the Western schools of thought, creating multiple offshoots. The Necronomicon, the Sumerian spellbook of Marduk, Ra, was the initiated doctrine of dark occults. Few initiates knew this. What I find even more interesting is Marduk had three main enemies. One was Tiamat. Tiamat was the old name for Earth. 
before Earth had its encounter with Nibiru, also called Planet X. One of its orbiting moons slammed into what is now Earth, but was then Tiamat. This indicates even more that a war took place in the past involving these invaders who had some issue with the planet we now call Earth. Even known powerful adepts like Eliphaz Levi, who many believe along with himself was the thrice-born Hermes Thoth, in his last incarnation advised to stay away from Geosia. And this comes from a man who practiced all forms of dark magic. He purported that this was the worst and had extreme negative results that were far-reaching, extending into the spirit planes of past and future. Reason 46. This is the seal of the Necronomicon of Marduk, the sworn enemy of man. If you see it, head the other way. Necromancers are lower life forms looking to gain energy. They are distorted and not fully developed, thus they know not what they do, and have no guidance save their dark lord, who is blind in one eye. We shall use his body to stir the lake of fire. The sigil is a series of imperfect pentagrams, meaning flawed. Necromancy as a game entered the U.S. through Parker Brothers and Milton Bradley, who were Illuminists themselves. First it came as the Ouija board, and then the game Seance. Once the organic portals, humans that sometimes have unknowingly formed packs with spirits, per game instruction, were open, it became something of a greater proportion. This was the knowledge of the ghost world, which was populated with lost, dismembered souls looking for answers and various other two-dimensional spirits. These were those who had spent life in vain and thought death was the end. Many warners we sent to them and they rejected them. As you notice in Christianity, they speak of the gospel, ghost spell, and entreat the Holy Ghost. What business does the church have with these ghosts? Someone call the Ghostbusters. Again, the only one really responsible is the individual person. There is definitely a point of no return and that point is reached at times within the first ceremony. If you could see the spirit world, which some already can, you will see that there are many watching and waiting for their opportunity to weave their way into your world. These days, many have already let them in. Look around your whole habitation and see how much evil is resident manifested in the form of skulls, guns, horror, harsh music, and killing games. All this carries energy and in a certain point it can overwhelm your atmosphere unknowingly if you don't keep balance. Why do you think media is stored on a magnetic disc? What do you think happens when these discs are stacked or even spun at high rates of speed? Negative magnetic information generates and emits a field of binary aura that fills large areas. Reason 47. Most never question why these games entered the U.S. Who brought them there and were for what purpose? This dark art was made to look like fun and was everything but that. All the tools were in the box to open a portal to the lower dimension or your money back. Looking deeper, we find an ancient text explaining the final termination of the first round of early earth gods that ruled mortals through oracles and pagan practices. Along with the captured gods, more than 8 million warring angels were carried all together to Makavishtu in hand. The Most High says, we cast them into the unquenchable fire where there was already more than 10 million who were in chaos and madness. For a while the earth was clear of the gods whose chief labor had been for thousands of years to capture the spirits of the recently dead and make slaves of them for the glory of the lesser kingdoms. Their end was swift just as one rises and falls in power. However, the cursed magicians 
invited them back into this realm once more, and the people, ever lacking in reason, welcomed them back by their abhorred actions and impurities to no extent. Some of these beings are further along the evolutionary cycle than we are. Thus, they appear as gods to the primitive. The art of deifying or creating gods was perfected in Egypt. They discovered upon death that if a person knew the secrets of the soul, they would become like gods to the mortals, living on the dimensions below them. This feat involved forever relinquishing the chance to ascend, which believe it or not, many have accepted. The gravity of dissension at a certain level is too strong to turn around. Notice grave and gravity are almost the same word, not to mention you go six feet down in an eight-sided box. The dimensional transport ritual still stands today in the Western world. If you notice in the Arab countries, the dead are buried immediately in a white sheet, no box, and facing to the east. Reason 8. The Saturnalian ritual of the eight-sided rectangular box ensured the departed soul was transported to their dimension or sealed. It exists today without the slightest notice as people are unknowingly being boxed up and transported. As the scripture says, the day the dead will come out of their grave because many are trapped there. We should ascend the moment we are released from the body, however the disposal of our shell must be back in the dirt, from dust the body goes, so must it return. The God-making business set some men up to become lords of the underworld and its grotesque inhabitants. Egypt was first known as Chem, the descendants of the lost Atlantis, then Ogygia in esoteric circles, a name long forgotten. Also called Sidian by the mystics, where we get our English word, city then Egypt by the commoner. Much later it was found out that the word Genesis actually was formulated from the words genes of Isis or generation of Isis. None of these are Hebrew terms. Even the word Bible comes from the, the word Biblios which is the place Isis set up to worship and mourn Osiris. Likewise, Ishtar did the same with Adonis long before the Holy Bible and King James ever thought of. The Hebrews now refer to their god as Adonai. This is Adonis. Decoding the Bible, you will find that all the prophecies are occurring exactly as they have been foretold. This is because millions of people believe the prophecies of the book will come true due to their religious preference. Thus. They are actually happen because we manifest what we think collectively out of thin air. I, for one, know that prophecies are for profit, and that will become more evident later. Many have attempted to authenticate when the books of the Bible were written. After many investigations, it was at least safe to say that many of the books were written long after the actual events took place. Thus, the details are solely dependent upon at least second-hand information, which is always partial to who is telling the story. I once read an ancient manuscript of a meeting that took place between kings and emperors in regards to powerful languages. Being a person that sought to model myself after wise men, I was curious of why there was such an emphasis put on formation of languages. I soon discovered that ancient codes and directs the mind that was, and this was known at least since the time of ancient Arabs, although evidence proves way before then. According to the Bible, at the Tower of Babel, man faces a confusion of languages by the God, and that is the word used, confusion. A few chapters later, the same God remarks, he is not the author of confusion. Huh? What is this all about? This made for quite a puzzle for me that made no sense. Reason 49. The dragon hath horns of a stag, head of a camel, eyes of a demon, neck of a snake, 
belly of a clam, scales of a carp, claws of an eagle, soles of a tiger, ears of a cow, by these symbols you will know them. Parts of the puzzle we will unravel slowly so nothing is missed. The Ishtar Gate is one of the most controversial relics known to man. Just as the pyramids are gates, the Gate of Ishtar, also known as the Gates of Elu, were first located in Ur. This was the first gate ever constructed to open the portal of Inanna, Ishtar, Ashtoreth, Astarte, Asherah, Venus, a channel to androgynous vampiric serpents and various other life forms that hang out in Club Shemham Foresh. She is Anana, consort of Marduk, Ra, also called She, Ra, and Rat, connected to the seven sisters of the Pleiades and their protector, Dog Hades, Anubis. They are Ma, Maya, Mayat, Mag, and Mary, who give the power to Magus. With them is the serpent Sor, who is the source of Sorcerer's power of Hathor. This is the dragon, its first depiction, then called Susa, our abbreviation, USA, Land of Serpents, who guard the Sedona time portal to Siam. Their art is seduction, which brings out delusion and seduction. When approached by these beings, one feels a pressure around the anus. They are androgens. Thus, they masquerade as female and male. This is God S, Dragon Queen, or Drag Queen. They falsely illuminate men to the wisdom of the serpent, thus eliminating them from the great race. This is the gate of Elo. Many men have made Ishtar their consort, and then have been betrayed, such as Sumerian Gilgamesh, and Solomon. As the scripture says, Solomon went after Ashtoreth and sacrificed in the groves and the high priests after his wisdom was not. This is the Bacchanalia, temple prostitutes, the cult of Yanni. They have connected with many of the daughters of the gods known as Fates, Ferts, Nymphs such as Morganus, Medusa the Gorgon, Persephone, Europa, Nemesis, Sothis or Sirius, Sekhmet, Saba, Sophia, Nephis, Nut, Kaddish, they have legions with them, they are succubi, draining vigor from their captors. Many of the overambitious power hunger fool has wandered down the path of false illumination, and few have returned. In ancient times, these men would war against each other to find favor with Ishtar. Then erect a high place in her name to serve as a gate or a portal. This is the key to know because you see them everywhere. Reason 50. The gates of Ishtar, the main reason we went to Baghdad above the oil. Whoever controls the main gate controls all subsequent gates. Those on the ground in Baghdad said the first thing they went for was the museum with a team of individuals that looked like they stepped out of James Bond film. They were definitely looking for something, some type of artifact or relic. Another use of ziggurats like the Tower of Babel seen in Reason 10 were the arcs in which several were constructed through various times to escape floods. People of the time seem to always have foreknowledge of these floods, whether this was through the adepts or by records left by previous civilizations. As said before, the ziggurats have various uses. Our current world leaders have all the information in regards to not only future floods, but also which land masses will submerge as the world adjusts to the shift. They will give none of this information to the common people, and it seldom leaks out. Instead, they continue to extend the underground caverns for themselves, building space cities, terraforming other planets, securing their future. The new Tower of Babel in Dubai 
Marduk Ra finally accomplished what he set out to do, which was to build the tallest building in the world. Through ancient geology, we learn that many of the regions are now deserts, where actually oceans before, and you're looking at the sandy bottom of them. Reason 51, many indigenous tribes left several warnings about the Earth's flood cycles. They also had higher consciousness to astral travel to places before these things occurred. The elite are expanding their underground domain with the preparation of future cataclysms. These machines burrow three miles per day and pave the wall behind them at the same time. Inner Earth cities are beautiful. Reason 52. The new Tower of Babel, the tallest building in the world, built by the construction company Wafi, which means one is loyal to the Pharaoh. That Pharaoh is Ramses, who was the earthly vessel for Ra. Keep in mind these spirit energies are immortal and they incarnate into willing vessels who are connected by bloodline. In the last Olympics, the Chinese government showed their alignment with the plan of the New World Order as they danced around the tower. This is why many of the Chinese people protested, unfortunately, to no avail. What the world leaders have done, however, is revealed their true identity. This is priceless for the guided, truly only a big answer in a world full of questions. Language allows us to communicate and express ourselves, embedding itself into the framework of our mind or mental matrix. When the words we use are manipulated by the developer of the language, it is possible for us to think and feel like we are saying one thing, but in all actuality we are saying another thing, but in all actuality we are saying another, which would change the outcome of our intended desire. The most damaging thing about languages of today is they are not only backwards, back words, as the word indicates, but they are also heavily laden with the names of various deities from our past fetish with pantheism. It is now evident that many of the words with certain vibrations pull energy while others restore energy. This was shown through water crystals. Our body, being 70% water, is extremely sensitive to vibration. Thought is also vibration, and this is how thought forms are created and given life. It is apparent that in the history of man and woman, there has been lots of meddling with negative energies, which can be seen within our warlike nature and bloodthirsty history. The development of weapons began the downward spiral. This art was blamed on fallen angel Tubalcane, the Kenite goat god, who in legend taught man how to fashion the first sword from a plowshare. From that point, man looked for anything to make a better weapon to pummel and plunder his brother. The discovery of gunpowder and various other explosives by alchemists produce a fatal time of misuse of energy that continues more now than ever. It is also morphed into genetics. Everything is alive, so imagine what radiation's character is. Our kind have been fascinated with force, not energy and ability, which is entirely different. It can be looked at this way. Some things are passive like steel. We can fashion into a plow, till the soil, bring abundant food, or we can make it into a gun. This is my definition of passive energy. When you have things like mercury and radiation that have no nurturing assimilations for human beings, they are what I call force. Their use is generally to deteriorate anything they come in contact with. When asking about various fuels, 
that are used for food for different energies and spirits, I learned that first it was plasma, the lower vibration beings fed on. The wars were fought with swords and the blood was up to the bridle. Many ancient accounts note that the battlefield when war was finished would glow with an eerie light and you could see gaseous life forms absorbing the energy of the blood. In time, Ra Deation, the nastier the element, the more degraded the host that feed upon it. It is the wisdom taught by S. Now you see they are using depleted uranium and you should know enough by now to get the clue where the hosts that feed on that energy come from. Our history also shows that many have had a fondness for worshiping and serving rather than mastering and leading. True spirituality benefits the one who is able to enact such rare talent as communication with the Most High. What remains is religion, which for the most part borrows from everywhere orthodox faiths and tales of villains and heroes may have sprang up. Where most people get lost is being able to imagine this unseen world is real. The world we live in now is very populated with other forms of life. In history, these beings were given names in which many people, especially those that speak languages of the Latin Vulgate, evoke every day. As the wise men always knew, behind your words lies a certain force depending on how serious you take it. If you only speak idly, there are those who take that as an opportunity to release you of your power and use it at their advantage. They understand how it works. Of course, the biggest move is to detach you from belief that such things could be possible. The names used for these entities have survived without the slightest bit of notice by the average person. Until now. The one that control the tongue is on the path to controlling their thought and not before then. Reading a book from the 1800s in regards to making spiritual contact will shine light on just how lost and off track many have been. This book proposed that you must wait for the new moon, burn some wheat, make sure you face the west, wait for a certain star to appear, look up to the heavens, and say this prayer while gripping firmly the throat of a frog. The prayer itself, the combination of holy names, some I recognize to be in direct conflict with each other. I thought to myself then, Surely, if one must do all this to contact the Most High, then maybe we are lost. Of course, one does not have to do all of what was described to make contact, but let us not believe someone has not tried this recipe of foolishness and reaped the results. In addition, when the unseen negative forces perceive that one will go to extremely barbaric lengths to make contact, they normally lead the person into a whole host of rituals which tend to involve sacrifice and blood. Thus they never meet the Most High and are headed in the direction of a place foreign to anything made of flesh with no light to guide their steps. We are now living in a time that is almost necessary for the religious system to reboot due to the amount of legends, myths, and fables that have been all rolled up under the subject of spiritual ascension. This book to me was the final effort to get a rope around all the belief systems as they continue to merge becoming more and more difficult to weed through and track the origins of. I'm sure that if something was not done now future generations would have a difficult time telling truth from falsehood if this is allowed to continue. This book is a key underground tool for understanding what happens in the near future and getting through it. History books continue to be revised as more incorrect information is added. If you notice the Mind Hive 
framework, Wikipedia, now number one portal for information, constantly updates their data and they are owned and operated by the elite. I have witnessed various alternations to certain subjects which take a person completely off the mark of truth of the topics of high importance. Once we move further, I will state again that I'm not at all in the advocate of Christianity, but it is now a fact that Catholic and Christian religions have restarted a much older design and have introduced it into the world under new packaging. Some addition name changes and the sprinkle of hyperdimensional magic is all that's needed to mislead the masses. This makes it of value to dissect certain things that we know about religion in order to fully perceive what is really going on today. You should keep in mind that the amount of followers dedicated to each belief system, thus the direction of energy, how it flows about the world you currently live in. Although you may have opened your mind to research for whether or not there is no truth out there, many refuse to read anything related to the subject of spirituality. Another portion will not read anything else unless it is the Bible, Quran, or the particular book of their faith such as the Book of Mormon. In fact, these religions teach that one should not read anything else lest they become led astray or should they say led to the real truth. One is looked at as a devil when asking too many questions and they are often rebuked. There are others who get lost in the complex disinformation produced in the work such as Lieber 777 and various other novels that claim to be references on the meaning of esoteric knowledge and its symbols, etc. Besides avoiding fall asleep while reading these tales, one is sure to get a feeling they are following someone who has no eyes, guide dog, or cane. They bring about a whole new meaning to lost. That, of course, is for the confused wishing to be witches. The illumined knows things entirely different. It is nothing like exhausting sagas and ceremonies of the witches. Direct and constant contact is necessary, and thus I will reveal how it is accomplished. The eight-pointed star is that of Ilu. To the Illuminati, this also signifies all eight-legged insects, such as spiders who weave webs. At the entrance of the Bohemian Grove, where rituals take place, it says, spiders weave not your webs here, indicating they cannot use magic on brothers. However, the masses they prey on. The star is also used in their evocation and transportation to Venus and various other locations.